Bernie is back. Bernie Sanders, the 2016 runner-up, officially entering a crowded field of Democratic candidates for the 2020 presidential nomination. Hi, I'm Bernie Sanders. I'm running for president. Our campaign is about taking on the powerful special interests that dominate our economic and political life. I'm talking about Wall Street, the health insurance companies, the drug companies, the fossil fuel industry, the military industrial complex, the private prison industry, and the large multinational corporations. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, Bernie has entered the race. And did you hear his list of enemies? This guy doesn't mess around. Yeah, he didn't come to play. He was like, big banks, little banks, Tyra Banks, I'm shutting you all down. You're all going down. And you can tell that Bernie's serious about winning because he didn't rub his hair with a balloon before filming this video. <laughs> He's serious now. He's in it. No balloon this time. We're going smooth. All student debt, <coughs> gone in six months. This is a new plan being proposed by Senator Bernie Sanders. The College for All Act. It would create a new tax on Wall Street transactions. It would use that money to free some 45 million Americans for more than a trillion dollars in student debt. Senator Sanders' plan would also make public colleges tuition free. Today we are in fact offering a revolutionary proposal. The American people bailed out Wall Street. Now it is time for Wall Street to come to the aid of the middle class of this country. Bernie! <laughs> Bernie! Wow! The man has a plan to get rid of all student debt in six months. Imagine that, huh? Six months! Yeah, student debt is about to get canceled like someone dug up its old tweets. That's what's about to happen. <laughs> and you know what? I'm always impressed by how passionate Bernie is about this issue, especially because it doesn't affect him. He doesn't have student debts. I mean, I don't think he does. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. Did, did they have student loans in ancient Greece? I don't know. <laughs> He's like, tell Socrates, I will not be paying 400 goats for that <laughs> philosophy class. <laughs> so let's kick it off with the front runner. Vermont senator and man whose voice is stuck in cap caps lock, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Last night, he proposed phasing out private insurance, decreasing the racial wealth gap, and extending the early bird special to 7 p.m. <laughs> but the one moment that got everyone talking was this. Senator Sanders, you have said that you believe that people with felony records should be allowed to vote while in prison. Does this mean that you would support enfranchising people like the Boston Marathon bomber, a convicted terrorist and murderer? I think the right to vote is inherent to our democracy. Yes, even for terrible people. Because once you start chipping away and you say, well, that guy committed a terrible crime, not gonna let him vote, or that person did that, not gonna let that person vote, you're running down a slippery slope. Wow, that was a tough question to answer. And I get why Bernie is concerned about slippery slopes, right? Partly because America has a history of using imprisonment to disenfranchise minority voters. Right? And partly because slippery things are every old man's worst nightmare, <laughs> right? Bernie was also gonna be like, I'm also thinking we should all get free Reeboks to wear in the shower. It's a dangerous place. <laughs> Bernie Sanders was slipping at the crib. Two-time presidential candidate Bernie Sanders out campaigning in Nevada after an accident in the shower left him with seven stitches on his head. He apparently <laughs> cut his head on a glass shower door, we're told. He popped into a walk-in clinic, got seven stitches, and got right back out there. But you can see the big bandage there. Is, is this evidence of his tenacity as this race heats up? Bernie! <laughs> Yo, this dude is such a legend. He cuts his head in the shower and then goes back out on the campaign. Like, I can picture him at the hospital now. Just hand me a stapler. Bah, bah, bah. I'll do it myself. Because let me tell you something. If I cut my head in the shower, I'm not coming to work, all right? <laughs> like, this guy shouldn't be in the White House. He should be in the next Expendables movie. That's where he should be. Yeah. And he'd be the youngest member of the team. He'd be in there. <laughs> and by the way, I'm not saying Bernie's too old to be president, all right? But you have to admit, it would be awkward for the Secret Service if one of them has to watch Bernie shower. I mean, because <laughs> that's a danger to him, and that's an assignment that nobody's gonna want. Because if you've ever been in the gym or a locker room with an old person, you know that they're not covering up anything for anyone's sake. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be toweling off his crush like, take it all in, Agent Wilson, this is your future. <laughs> this is you. 